What's up, 2K fans? Your boy QB here. Zach from 2K just posted all the badge attribute thresholds. So I'm gonna go through them with y'all. Every single one. We got the inside scoring, perimeter scoring, uh, dribbling, and defense. So I'm gonna show you what's going on. Let's get right into it. So this is it. He posted this. This is inside scoring. This is the max height for acrobat. Let's see if y'all can see it because I know he made this big old spreadsheet. You had to get your glasses out, get your magnifying glasses out to see it. But this is it. The acrobat max height is 6'11. Bronze 64, 76 is silver. Gold is 84. Hall of Fame is 90. Things has changed a lot. You got ethers and ands now compared to what, what it was last year, where it just blended them in, you know, some ties into this. So you had to get that. So we got fearless finisher is bronze. Your strength has to be a 55 and either your close shot is 68 or your driving layup a 70. The, the, the silver is five more strength and the gold is a five more strength. Hall of Fame is only two more strength, 67 strength and a 95 close shot and a 96 driving layup. So you got gold is an 86 close shot and 87 driving layup or like or or 77 close shot and, or an 80 driving layup for a silver fearless finisher float gain the new one of the new badges that came out you just got to have a 60 driving layup for bronze six, uh, 68 for silver go to 77 a hall of fame 88 i'm going to compare some of them with 2k 23 if necessary so you can see how the, the big difference is giant slayer max height is a seven foot i mean really doesn't make sense to have be i don't see how seven foot why would you need giant slayer i mean it's only at this point, it'd be only three more inches. I guess that's where it, it lays, three more inches. But if you're seven foot, get having giant slayers. Kind of, you know, what's the point? Bronze is a 55 close shot or a driving layups 59. Silver is a 62 close shot and a 65 driving layup. And then we got a gold is 75 close shots or a 74 driving layup. And Hall of Fame is a 88 close shot or driving layup 85. I want to look at that one to see what's the, what, how high it went since, uh, so masher is, is almost the same 68 close shot, which is higher for bronze masher 77 for silver. Oh shoot. My bad y'all 77 for silver gold is 84 and then 94 for hall of fame on Xbox, <laughs> Xbox on 2k 23. It is uh, 63, 73, 82, 95. So they made it easier. It's it's less it's less attribute points. One less for Hall of Fame. If you're looking for Hall of Fame Masher, uh, it's more for gold dose. Cause I guess I think what they're doing is what they're doing is things that people used to get a lot. They're going to if they went for gold a lot, they made it up more. If they went to Hall of Fame a lot, they're gonna make it up more. And if stuff they didn't go a lot, they're gonna keep it around the same. That's how probably am, how more powerful they are. So Pro Touch, now Pro Touch is a badge that most people you know didn't use because they still just use regular time. But in this game, you're going to need Pro Touch, so you're going to use that Pro Touch. So Pro Touch, it says it has 51 close shot. Right, let me put my camera over here. No, I'll leave my camera right there. So 51 close shot or driving layup 51. Silver 60, driving layup 60. I mean it matches up. Close shot 70, driving layup same thing. Close shot 80. For 80 on Hall of Fame. So on Pro Touch on the uh <clears throat> Pro Touch on 2K23, it's 55. There was no there was no requirements for bronze. 55 for silver, 69 for gold, and 80 for Hall of Fame. So it's the same thing. I mean, it's less for driving, you know, it's more for driving layup on this one than it is on 2K23. 2K23 only wanted 78. So it makes sense. I mean, it's a little different. Like I said, I, I'm gonna go through them. I, it's gonna be a long video. So let's go posterizer. I think that's about the same. Let's go posterizer. Posterizer. 99 driving dunk. Now here's the ants. They had to, they added the ants to it though. Before posterize, you get 73 vertical. I mean, 73 with a 70 vertical, 86 with a 75 vertical, 86. It's it was 85 before so one up on that one but you need that 75 vertical for pro context anyway for pro context 
it was an 80 dunk. So you need for yeah, this was a this is this is elite contact dust right here. Uh, so posterizer bronze was driving duck 73 and a 70 vertical. Silver is driving dunk 86 with a 75 vertical, which is literally same thing. I mean, that's what did you get for pro context? Pro context, you needed a 85 or 84 to 70 for the 75 vert. So just two more for the posterizer. The posterizer silver was 85. So, but does it have a vertical requirement? Driving dunk 93 and a vertical of 80 for gold, which is elite context. Unlocks the elite context, but it's a, it's about the same thing. You just needed a eight. You just needed, I mean, the requirements of vertical is needed now. And the Hall of Fame is 99 driving dunk with 85 vertical. The 85 vertical is very. <laughs> That's a lot, especially, you know, you're going for Hall of Fame posterizer compared to what it used to be. Cause you only needed a set, you know, 80 dunk, I mean 80 for elite contact. So you have to get that 85. He won't, you know, to be a pure slasher. All right. So project precision dunker, which is another slashing bash. Let me move my camera. It's 71 driving dunk or 71 drive uh, standing dunk Dr uh, driving dunk 83 for silver. And then a standing dunk for 81. Gold is driving dunk 90 or standing dunk 90. Hall of Fame is driving dunk 97 or standing dunk 96. So I'm sure with both of these two badges, you become an elite dunker just like that. I mean, your dunking be, I mean, dunking seem like it's gonna be pretty OP with those two badges. Cause it wasn't, I mean, you had limitless takeoff before. So, I mean, let's see how they do it. All right, rise up. Rise up minimum height is a six four. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Rise up minimum height six four. Uh, bronze is seventy two, vertical sixty. Silver standing dunk eighty one, vertical sixty three. Gold standing dunk ninety with a vertical sixty seven. Hall of Fame standing dunk ninety eight, vertical is seventy. Aerial Wizard. This is a lot for Aerial Wizard. Bronze is a vertical is 58 and either driving layup 57 or driving dunk 64 or standing dunk 60. It's a lot of different ones there. I'm going to let y'all go ahead and go through them because that's a lot of reading. But Hall of Fame is a vertical of 84 and then driving layup 87, driving dunk 95 or standing dunk 92. Bunny, which is a new dunking bass. So think about Bunny with posterizer and precision dunker you're gonna be going crazy bronze a, dri not, a driving layup of a 62 driving dunk of a 60 68 silver is a driving layup of 72 driving dunk of 77 gold driving layup 84 driving dunk 86 hall of fame driving layup 94 driving dunk 93 fast twitch bronze close shot 71 Standing dunk 93. So I'm gonna see what because I usually do fast switch on gold. So I just want to see what fast switch is. It's usually 85. So they upped it five. So you have to have a close shot of a 90 now. Usually you just go close shot 85. You had gold fast switch, you was good. So now you have to go close shot a 90 and then standing dunk a 92. Hall of Fame, it was a 96 on 23 or a 99 standing dunk. Now it's a 98 close shot. In a 99 standing or a 99 standing down. So it's a difference. Slithery. What's the slithery difference? There's a 68 layup for bronze. It was a 69 layup on 23. 80 layup, or I would say I forgot the driving duck. Driving duck 70. Same as 70 on driving dunk on bronze. They want on silver 84 driving dunk, which is the 82 now. And then a 79 driving layup which is one down from what it was before go driving layup is a 91 or a driving duck 93 it used to be at 89 and a 92 89 driving layup that's the difference between the slithery you know two two attribute points bless you uh hall of fame is driving layup 97 or driving dunk 94 so used to be 99 driving layup or a 98 driving dunk so that's the difference because i had I had Slither on Hall of Fame, so you had to have a 98 driving dunk. I had a 99, but to have it down to a 94, that's a big difference to have Slither on Hall of Fame. 
Spin cycle, new badge. You gotta have driving layup 55, driving dunk 56, driving layup 64 for silver, driving dunk 69, gold, driving layup 70, driving dunk 75. Hall of Fame is driving layups 82 and driving dunk 85. Two step. Dry, uh, bronze is driving layup 60 or driving dunk 63. Silver is driving layup 68 or a driving dunk a 70. Gold is driving layup 74 or driving dunk 78. Hall of Fame is driving layup 83 or driving layup 86. That's a new, that's another new badge, the two-step badge. Bulldozer, the minimum height on bulldozer is 6'5. So short people cannot get this. Bronze, strength has to be a 74, silver 84, gold 92, Hall of Fame 96. Whew. All right. I think Bully, what did Bully had to be? Bully, you had to have a 95 strength. So they went up one on the strength. Bully was an 89 strength for gold. So they went up to a 92 and an 82 for silver, which is an 84 now. So it's the same for bronze. Whistle. I'm not going to really go over whistle because, I mean, you can see it. I'm move my camera. But you can see it. But that's a lot of different, you know, if, ands, uh, boards about it. And they said, Mike Wayne said, it's more for my career games, not in competition games. Your ears going to be tired after this one. Back down Punisher. Minimum height is a 6'4". Can't get this unless you're over 6'4". Bronze, post control 57, and a strength of 70. So back down Punisher before was... No requirements for bronze. So everybody got it on bronze. I guess it was a height requirement though, but now it says post control had to be a 72 for silver. No, now for post control silver on the 24, post control could be 67 and strength 79. Before it was 72 and strength 76. And it was an or. But back down Punisher was an or. Now it's an and. So you gotta have both. You gotta meet both to get the badge. On uh, gold is 79 post control and 86 strength. Before it was 80 post control or 86 strength. So now it's combined to both. Hall of Fame's 89 and set in 95. Hall of Fame on 2K23 was 87 and 94. So it's a big difference in between the two because now you have to have both. You just can't have one or the other. Dream Shake. You know, it's a lot of talking for this one. Bronze is 63. I'm going to go to that one too. Bronze, it was no requirement on 23, but now you have to have a 63 and either a 57 close shot or a mid range of a 59 before you just needed a post control. So you needed, uh, you needed nothing, but the silver, you needed a 62 post control, but now you need a 70 post control and a close shot of a 64 or a mid range of a 67 on gold. You need an 81 post control and a 75 or 77 mid range. Before it's just a 77 post control for gold and an 86 for Hall of Fame. Now you need a Hall of Fame post control is 90 close shot or 90 close, uh, 90 post control and close shot 88. Mid range has to be an 84 for Hall of Fame. Dream shake. Drop step or post control 64 for bronze, silver 75, gold 84. Hall of Fame is 95. Let's look at it how it was on 23. I don't have drop. I couldn't get drop step on this build. <laughs> That's messed up. So I, I couldn't get drop step on this build. So I had to go to a different build. Okay, drop stepper. You need a 64 post control, 75 for silver. Gold is 84, Hall of Fame is 95. Before is 58 for bronze, 69 for silver, 78 for gold, and 87 for Hall of Fame. So they up the ante about eight per attribute for drop stepper. Post spin technician, post uh, 60 for bronze, 72 for silver, 81 for gold, Hall of Fame is 90. Before for post technician is 
It used to be no requirements for bronze, 57 for silver, 70 for gold, and 80 for Hall of Fame. So they upped the ante about on that one a lot. About 11. 11, 12. Hook Specialist, which is one of the new badges. Close shot at 60. Uh, post, or and a post control of a 50. That's bronze. Silver, close shot 71, and a post control of a 60. Gold is close shot 83. And post or and post control 74. Hall of Fame is close shot 92. And post control 86. I show sure butchered that one. Post fade phenom. A new new badge here. It's a lot of talking. Bronze, post control 59, and either close shot 65. Or mid range of 61. Silver, post control 65, and either a close shot 77 or a mid range of 71. Post control on gold. I mean, gold, post fade phenom is post control 75 and either close shot 86 or mid range 79. Hall of Fame is 85 post control and either a close shot of a 93 or a mid range of an 86. And that is it for your inside scoring. You see how much I had to read, y'all? That's it for that one. Okay, this is perimeter perimeter scoring. So we got middle magician. You need an 80, a 59. This is this is the perimeter shooting. Mini magician you need a 59 bronze, 72 for silver, gold, 84, Hall of Fame, 92. Things has changed, man. Agent three max height is a 611. Uh, bronze is 76, silver is 86. I said it's bronze 76, yeah. Uh, gold is 94. Hall of Fame is 98. 98 Agent 3. That's crazy. Agent 3 was a 96 before. Claymore, 76, uh, 70, uh, three point for bronze. I mean, 60. Claymore, bronze is a 60. Silver is a 70. Gold is an 82. Hall of Fame is a 92. Corner Specialist, bronze is a 65. Silver is a 76 three-pointer. Gold is an 85 three-pointer. And Hall of Fame is a 94 three-pointer. Limitless range. Bronze is an 85. Silver is a 92. Gold is a 96. And Hall of Fame is a 99. That is a big change because three-pointers was not that much. If you wanted limitless range on uh, silver, it was only an 85 three-ball. So you need a 92 now for silver. And that's, that's a big change. They're making you really go for that uh, silver one. So I wonder if it... Especially when they push bronze back to 85. Bronze is only for 74. Blinders. Bronze is 70 for mid-range or 70 for three. Uh, silver is 79 three ball. 83 mid-range. 89 mid-range. 90 three-pointer for gold. Hall of Fame is 97, 97. Blinders was... Was a 94 and a 97 before for Hall of Fame. So that's a change in the mid-range. And, uh, and I mean, mid range is you got to have more for mid range. That's what it is. Catch and shoot mid range 60, 3.63, mid range 70, 3.74 for silver. Gold is 82 with 85. Three pointer Hall of Fame is 93 and 95 three ball. So, catch and shoot, you had to have a 93 for Hall of Fame, 81 for gold. So, that's a big change. From I mean, it's not a big change, it's only well, actually it's, uh, four attributes for from gold to 81 on 23 comeback key bronze is a 53 three point is a 56 silver is a 64 three point is a 68 so uh gold is a 75 three point is 79 hall of fame is 86 and three point was a 89 uh it's a big change because you only needed a 78 three pointer for hall of fame comeback kid so you gotta have an 89 now big change did i bring my camera out Dead Eyes, Bronze, 75, 3.75. Hall of Fame, you need to have 80. You can see it right here. You need to have a 98 mid-range and 3.99. Uh, Dead Eye on 23, you got to have a 99 like you usually do. So it's the same thing, mid-range. It didn't have a, I think it didn't have a mid-range requirement, though. It's only a three-point requirement. No mid-range requirement. So unless, I mean, unless it's something I didn't see. But it's all three-pointer on this one, on 2K23. So we got green machine, bronze is 61, 3.64, silver is 76, 3.78, gold is 88, 3.89, mid range is 
mid range is 95, 3.75 for Hall of Fame for Green Machine, which was higher. It's higher than it was on 23. You need a 90 mid range or a 91 three point shot on 23. Guard up, which one of the badges that people didn't use because it didn't work, but they brought it back. Bronze is 59, 3.60. Silver is 71, 3.74. Gold mid range is 82, 3.87. Hall of Fame is 91 and a 94. Guard up before that people didn't use. It has went up. So maybe it does work better. I mean, you got to have a 94 before you only need a 90 for Hall of Fame. Open looks, one of the new badges. Bronze is 90. Uh, bronze is 54 mid range and a 58 three pointer. Silver is a 72 mid range and a three pointer 75. Gold mid range is 86. Three point is 88. Hall of Fame is 90 or a 3.93. So that's a new new badge. I can't compare it with nothing. Space Creator Max Height is a 6'11. So you know you can be a stretch now for this. I've seen that in 23 before. Bronze, 64 for mid-range and 3.65. Silver is a 76 mid-range, 3.78. Gold is 88, 3.87. Hall of Fame, mid-range 96 and 3.94. Space Creator was also a badge that he got boosted up. It's only taken 80 mid range or 83 three point shot to get Hall of Fame. So they boosted it. Wow. Heavy, heavy. Spot Finder, new badge. You see how long the requirements is for this is basically like slippery off ball, but you get to boost to your three point shot because they got slippery off ball right here. Uh, you can see it. It has acceleration. You got to have acceleration with this one and these attributes here. I just want y'all to look at them. I'm not going to call them out because it's a lot to read. Three points, which is just free throws. You got to have your free throws. 71, bronze, silver is 80, gold is 99, Hall of Fame is 99. Ain't nobody going to go above a 75 free throw. Some people don't even go past a, even go past a 70, so we'll see. Slippery off ball, max height is a 69. Bronze is 57, silver is 71, gold 84, Hall of Fame is 92, all acceleration. So slippery off ball was a shooting badge and you didn't have to have no acceleration. This is all on shooting ability before. Now it's on acceleration. Big change. All right, let's go into, let's go into ball handle. Ball handle and passing. All right. Passing, bailout. Bailout is, they didn't boost that up. Bailout was not this OP. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it was OP. Yes, it was OP last year on 23. But now you got to go crazy. You can't even get bailout unless you got an 87. You can't get bailout on bronze unless you got an 87. Before you only needed 65. One of the best bronze badges to date. And you can't even get it. You can't get it over seven, uh, over 16. So no big mans can have this no more. And you got to have an 87 pass accuracy. So it used to be able to have a 65. You get a 78 in silver. Now it's 87, 91, 95, and 99 for Hall of Fame. You only need a 94. Break starter. Big man's best badge. But break, break starter on gold was the best OP badge for bigs. It's no longer. It's now it's 86 for a gold. So you need a Hall of Fame for 92. But the gold was what everybody went for. And it was a 76 on 2k 23 now it's a 9 uh, 86 so you need 10 mo add 10 mo attributes i mean your pass is gonna be crazy though as a big man if you go for 86 dimer it is uh 56 bronze 73 for silver gold 89 hall of fame is 96 uh it's a little boosted there it's about 11 more for everybody everything nine for it was 90 it was only 85 for hall of fame on 23 now it's a 96 needle threader 77 for bronze silver is 84 gold is 91 hall of fame is 98 needle threader used to be a 92 for hall of fame so now it's a 98 at silver needle threader on my big man and now you got to have a 84 pass accuracy so if you get if you get break starter you'll get needle threader so i mean if you go for the 86 pass accuracy big man but you can't get bailout it sucks unless you take 16. All right, post playmaker. 6'6 six, six is the minimum height. There's your post control. I mean, your pass actually got to be 57, 74 for silver, 83 for gold, 
and 90 Hall of Fame. You all also got to have either an offensive rebound at these limits or a post control at these limits. Uh, relay passer, which is one of the badges I'm going to need, probably. Bronze, 80, uh, 60, silver, 76. It's a new badge. Gold, 89, and Hall of Fame is 95. So I'm thinking silver is going to be the sweet spot for this. And then along with touch passer, special delivery, uh, you know, it's alley oops, 69, 75, 83, and 91. Uh, I had special delivery on my big man, and 77 was Hall of Fame. So now Hall of Fame is 91. That's a big change for special delivery. That's a big change. Uh, touch passer. Let me throw my camera out the way. Touch passer, 74 silver, I mean bronze, 82 silver, gold, 90, 95 Hall of Fame. That's the new badge. You know, you want to be quick with your passes, and there it is. So now we're on ball handling. Let's change it up. Bring my camera back on. Max height is 6'9 for ankle breaker. Bronze, 80, uh, 62 ball handle. Silver, 90, uh, 75 ball handle. Gold is 85 ball handle. Hall of Fame is 93 ball handle. You couldn't get big man. With a big man, you couldn't get it. So yeah, <laughs> it didn't matter for me. But now, let's see what the difference is real quick. I'm trying to bring up a bill real quick. I don't want to waste too much time. Ankle breaker before you got to have 81 for Hall of Fame. Now you got to have a 93. And they said ankle breaker works this year. So that's the, that's the difference. Big driver. Big driver is the quick first step for big man, basically. Bronze is a 55 ball handle, silver 62. And you got to have speed with ball 40 or acceleration 40 for bronze 48. 48 acceleration. You just got to match the speed of ball or excel. You got to have all three. There's no ores. All three of these you got to have. Y'all see them on the screen. I don't want to keep them. But the blow by badge, you got it. Max height is a 611. You see the ands. The Hall of Fame is ball handle 97, speed of ball 89, and acceleration at 90. Handles for days, max height is a seven foot. Bronze 80, 69, and stamina. You got to have stamina this year. 99 stamina. You four, they forcing you to have handles for days. Hall of Fame, 95 ball handle, and a 99 stamina. So that's a, that's a big change from what it was before. Hyperdrive, 610, max height. Bronze, 69 with a 72 speed with ball. I mean, speed, not speed with ball. Well, 60, 69 speed with ball with a 72 speed. Hall of Fame is 91 speed with ball and a 90 speed. Killer combos, 610, max height. Ball handle, 75. Hall of Fame is 98. Gold is 93. You know, get your killer combos up uh, before Hall of Fame was a 97. So they went down on one. Hyperdrive also was a, uh, mainly a tier one badge for people, but it was a 90 speed with ball, a 90, a 91 speed with ball with a 90 before. Now it's, it's and now before it was only or. And it was 92 ball handle with a 90 or a 90 speed with ball. So either way. All right. Physical handles, which is a new badge. I had to kill my camera. 16 is the max height. Ball handle 60 with a strength of 60. It matches up. Uh, we're going to see Hall of Fame is ball handle 80 and a strength of 83. Physical handle. That's that bumps. Get the bumps. All right. Let's go into speed booster. There's all that you got to read, bro. It's ands. Ball handle and speed with ball and either speed and ex or acceleration. So you see how much you gotta have, you gotta pay attention. So if you want a Hall of Fame, you need 95 ball handle uh, and a 91 speed with ball, either a 92 speed or a 93 acceleration. So they force you to have the goaded amount of everything. Well, if you were, if you were Hall of Fame, you ain't gonna have too much of nothing else because your attribute is gonna be that wore down. Triple strike, uh, which is a triple threat uh, stuff. Max height is a 611, Hall of Fame is a 90, and speed ball is 89, and acceleration 85. So you can see that there. Unpluckable, ball handle 98 for Hall of Fame. Before, you just got to have, I mean, uh, bronze, silver, and gold. You can do post control or ball handle for unpluckable gold. So you can't get gold, you can't get Hall of Fame unpluckable with post control anymore. It changed it. All right, let's get into. Let's get into the defense. Last one. 
Brick wall. Minimum heights is six. This is defense and rebounding. Brick wall is 72 for bronze. Strength. Silver is 83 strength. Gold is 90 strength. Hall of Fame is 99. Brick wall before. You had a night, you know, 96 strength. So they brought, I brought gold down. They brought gold down. Gold is not that high. And silver ain't that high. Silver is only 83. All right. Anchor. Minimum height is the 6'7 for anchor. Don't try to. I mean, I guess you can bring those six seven centers if you want to, but you get you gotta have ands now. You gotta have interior for Hall of Fame, interior defense 85 and a block 99 or 99 block. Before you just had either or you just had a 99 block, you was good. Interior defense 77. Block 82 for gold and so on. Chase down artists. Minimum height is a 6'3. Uh, Hall of Fame is 94 block and a 71 speed and a vertical of 83. So don't try to come out here with chase down. You think you get chase down without this vertical. This vertical has changed. And you got to put speed on them. It's just blocked before. And they gave you, a, you sped up. So they make you now is showing each one working in, in between each other. There you go. Post lockdown, 6'6", six, six, minimum height. Bronze is interior defense, 74, strength of 70. We're going to say Hall of Fame is 96, interior defense, and strength of 89. Woo, 89. Goodness gracious. Before, you really need no strength. I mean, you it was good to have strength, but you didn't need the strength. That's crazy. But now, I mean, it's not crazy because it's locked into each other. Ankle braces, perimeter defense 64, 78, 89, 94 Hall of Fame. I don't really, I don't know too many people use ankle uh, ankle braces, but I mean, I guess we're gonna see how it works this year and see if it's useful. Before Hall of Fame was only a 86. Challenger, perimeter defense for bronze is 71. Hall of Fame is 94. Before Challenger, Challenger you only needed a 90, 86 for for gold. You only need 87 this year, so. Only one attribute change, so you only need gold. I mean, really, in my opinion, Hall of Fame. If you are a pure lock, you know Hall of Fame challenger. You know that's how to go. Clamps, perimeter defense. You got to have the strength too. So Hall of Fame perimeter defense 99 and the strength 60. I've talked about this before. You only you didn't need the strength before. Now you need the strength, and they made it 99. It used to be 97 for Hall of Fame, so they changed it. Fast feet, six nine maximum height. Perimeter defense got to be a 72 and acceleration. So you Hall of Fame is perimeter defense 97, acceleration 82. So you got to have the acceleration to match the perimeter defense to be able to lock somebody up and be quick on uh, lateral quickness, basically lateral quickness. Right, let's see what we got else. That was the first row. Off ball pass. Bronze, 58, silver, 68, gold, 80. Uh, Hall of Fame is 90, all perimeter defense. Off ball pass. Off ball pass was a uh, fairly easy badge to get in the old 2K. I mean, 2K23. And it is a 65 for Hall of Fame. Now it's a 90 off Hall of Fame. So that's heavy. That's heavy. <laughs> Pick Dodger. Max height is 16. Bronze. Perimeter defense is 74. All Hall of Fame is 98. Pick Dodger. You only need a 94 for Hall of Fame. 85. So they upped this six for gold because I had it on gold. Uh, glove. Steel 72 for silver, uh, bronze, silver 85. Max heck, my, max height is seven foot. Gold is 91. Hall of Fame is 99. They changed that because glove was only an. Oh, gold was a 90. Gold was 95. So they brought it down. Glove is, is cheaper now. 99 still still there, but glove is cheaper now. So that's good for most people. If you want gold glove, you can deal with it with 91. You know what I'm saying? 85 is still silver. It just made bronze a little higher. Interceptor. This is my badge, the go-to badge. They hurt my feelings with the silver because I had it on 78, which was the silver one. Bronze is 60. Silver is 81. Gold is 89. Hall of Fame is 95. Interceptor, 99. They brought the Hall of Fame down, but they also brought the gold. They brought gold down too, but they brought silver up because they know silver was the, the sweet spot. For, as I said, they usually they, they, they monitored it. They seen what was used a lot. And they brought those up. So now it would cost you a little bit more. The right stick ripper, which is going to be needed if you're going to use glove and all that stuff and interceptor. Max height is seven foot. 
bronze is 70 silver is 84 gold is 90 hall of fame is 96 it's great because i'm gonna be using that in for immovable, immovable forcer minimum height is 60 65 that's a 65 bronze is 71 strength silver is 82 strength gold 90 strength and hall of fame is 95 strength badge for big mans and locks that's all i gotta say 94 feet max height is 68 gotta be a small lock for this bronze you gotta have stamina so look if you want hall of fame you gotta have perimeter defense 93 and a 99 stamina so make sure your stamina's up if you want to get the 94 feet pogo stick you see how it is they put so much on it i need to bring my camera back because i didn't even pay attention but look at all this you got to do all this you got your vertical up i mean i'm sure big man i'm always going 85 vertical and then you you know the block 99 offensive rebound whatever and you got to have either you got to have this in either one of these all right so now we're going to workhorse workhorse is now a stamina based attribute before it was all interior and perimeter defense so you got to have your stamina up and then you got to do one of these like uh, it was before interior or perimeter defense hall of fame 99 interior 93 perimeter defense 94 either or box out beast minimum height is a 63 hall of fame is strength is a 90 and either all of offensive rebound 93 or defensive rebound a 93 rebound chaser you know 99 99 they didn't change that one i mean i think they probably changed gold gold has probably changed gold is 92 now it was 93 so they changed that one Silver went down a little bit and bronze went down a lot. So I guess they're encouraging people to use rebound chaser now. <laughs> and that's it for defense. That is it for defense. Is that it? That's it for the video, man. Brand new to the channel, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh hit that like button if you like this. And what you think about the changes, it's your boy keep you up signing up. Peace.